Hello all and welcome to our daily news show, The Big Story, where we talk about the hottest topics of the day right in the heart of the newsroom. I'm Kimberly Jell coming to you live from The Straits Times and we are streaming on YouTube and Facebook, so do leave us a comment, like and share it with your friends, as well as hit the bell to be told whenever we go live. I'll be joined by a couple of my newsroom colleagues today to discuss what got you talking today. Our first story. All upper primary school pupils will have coding classes from next year as part of the government's goal to develop a healthy pipeline of tech talent uh, for the digital economy. With us to discuss this is ST journalist Harris. Hello. Hi. So could you run us through the various announcements that they made during this seminar? So this seminar you're talking about is mm -hmm. the Ministry of Communications and Information uh, Work Plan Seminar. Right. So basically this annual seminar is where the minister and the ministry will take um, people through the work that the ministry will do across the board, like for schools, businesses, you know, and community members. So before I get into the coding story, I'll talk about a few other announcements that were made in the seminar. So one of them is the an update about Start Digital, mm -hmm. which is an initiative to subsidize the take up of um, certain solutions for SMEs. So um, MCI said that more than 4,000 SMEs have tapped this initiative since the program was launched in January. Mm. There's also an, another announcement of a formation of a new team to look into the security of Singapore's uh, telecommunications ecosystem, mm -hmm. in particular 5G before it's rolled out uh, next uh -huh. year. I see. And of course, like you mentioned, the uh, coding in primary schools. I see. Mm. So I understand that it used to be uh, sort of an optional program in 2014. So yeah. can we talk a little bit about how it's changed since then? Sure. So the program, it's called uh, Code for Fun or CFF for short. Um, it, it used to be an optional enrichment class for uh, primary school students. And, and since it was introduced, I think in 2014, mm -hmm. MCI said that it's benefited 93,000 students. Wow. Yeah, it's a pretty big number. And so now the announcement today is that it's going to be rolled out to all uh, upper primary school students. Um, this coding program, the CFF, will take the form of classes that will add up to uh, 10 hours. And the curriculum will be developed by the Education Ministry as well as the Infocom Media Development Authority, or IMDA. Mm. So the, the, the crux of this CFF is essentially to sort of introduce coding to these students and, and to get them you know, excited about the opportunities that the digital age and I guess something like coding could offer them in the future. So mm -hmm. it's about exposing them to the relevant skill sets that, that, that will be needed for the uh, potentially lucrative digital economy that, that Singapore is you know, trying to get into. So it's things like getting into uh, things like computer programming, cyber security, engineering, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's also a uh, announcement of a new youth program by the Cyber Security Agency of Singapore. Um, it, it's called the Singapore Cyber Youth Program, and it'll benefit uh, reach out to ten thousand secondary and tertiary students mm. in the next three years to sort of provide them with opportunities to to explore what exactly cyber security and and I guess to get them sensitized to the fact that this is potential a uh, uh, potential career option for them. Mm. They could take it up maybe courses in polytechnics or universities ah. or even eventually take up the jobs in that, that, that field. Uh. Right. Yeah. So give them a taste. Yeah, and it'll be done through things like, you know, camps and learning journeys, that sort of thing. I see. Mm. So why would you say these so many things were introduced? I think um, a big theme for this year's work plan especially uh, was digital inclusion, you know, making sure that as Singapore progresses and gets digitalized, no one gets left behind. Yeah, so um, I, I, th I think introducing coding in such a young and formative age could, could be an attempt to nurture that interest in tech-related fields mm -hmm. so, so that, you know, they, they can, like I said, uh, maybe be interested in taking up uh, studies in that field or even careers in that field in the future. I see. Yeah. So our times are changing, basically, and yes. we're getting our youth to keep up with that. Yes, by learning coding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Harris, for sharing more with us. Sure. Uh, if you'd like to keep up with more of such stories, do head on to www.straightstimes.com.